In this video, I'm going to show you how I use tick charts for day trading and why I prefer tick charts over the time-based charts. So if you look here, I got this one here is a tick chart. This is a tick chart. This is a time-based chart. This is a two-minute chart. You'll notice uh, today, Oxy went, Oxy, what is it, Occidental Petroleum went parabolic first thing in the morning. Now, the normal way to trade trending stocks is to get it on a pullback. If you don't trade the first few minutes, like I don't, wait for the market to uh, open up, uh, there really was never a pullback to the 20 EMA on the two-minute chart. But if you look at the tick chart, you'll see pullback, 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 and you'll notice my, where I have my crosshairs synchronized on each chart. So you'll see where these pullbacks are on the two-minute chart, pullback, pullback, Plenty of places to get in so you don't miss that parabolic move. And even on the higher time frame tick chart, it had a pullback. But, you know, you missed this pullback here on the lower lower tick chart, lower, lower tick frame chart. But it did give you one here and here and here. That's why I like to use tick charts because the tick chart is actually showing you what's going on inside of the candles here. The candles never gave you a pullback. Tick chart gave you plenty of pullbacks. Uh, I use for stocks, I use the 512 tick for the longer frame to kind of give me uh, an idea of what the market's actually doing, what kind of trend it's doing. And then I go to the 144 tick to find my entry point. That would have been my first entry point. And uh, I held it for the trend, but some people, they go in, they... They uh, get in on a pullback, then they get out on a prior high, get back in on a pullback, get out at the prior high, so forth and so on. Tick charts give you a real good way to look inside. Now, like I said, I use two tick charts. I use a higher tick chart to give me the overall look of the market. What's it doing? Trending. How's it trending? I don't like trading uh, range type tapes. I prefer trends. Uh, and then, of course, I use the lower time frame tick chart, the 144. This was the 512 tick. This is the 144 tick on stocks uh, to get those pullbacks to get in. Now, I also trade the futures, and I'm going to show you my futures tick chart right here. And I do the same thing. I got the higher time frame. This is the ES. I got it set to a 4,000 tick to kind of give you good overview of what the market was going on in the market and then for my entry chart I have it set on I either the 1000 or the 1500 tick I've lately been using the 1500 tick though I find it just gives you less false signals uh, and for the NQ I like using the 1350 tick for the uh, overall picture and I like using the 400 tick to find my entry points and for the Russell, RTY, whoop, this is not it. I'm at my three tick chart. Let me see. Where is it at? There it is, three tick chart. There we go. And the Russell. Again, let's start, let's just start again. 4,000 tick for the overall view of the market conditions in the ES. 1,500 tick for my entry point. We have the 1,350 tick for the NQ for the overall picture. And we have the 400 tick for my entry points. And then the Russell, we have the 900 tick for the overall view. And we have the uh, 300 tick, excuse me, the 300 tick for the entry points on the Russell. Those are my settings. You can tinker around with it. I typically use the 20 and 50 EMA, and I like to put the 200 on there too, just because uh, I'm just used to it being there, and it gives you a good idea of the general trend. 
So tick charts, they give you a way to look inside of the candles to see what's going on. They provide pullbacks when candles might not necessarily provide pullbacks. That's my reason for using tick charts for day trading. I hope this helps. Have a good day.